Now we have created our session and we also created a spark context object. Now let's create an RDD. For RDD can be, uh, so this two steps we have done, the spark session and the spark context. Now the third step is to create RDD, which is a fault tolerant collection of elements that can be operated on in parallel. There are two ways to create RDDs, parallelizing an existing collection on the, in the driver program. So only used for POC or prototyping, which means that parallelizing is just uh, not actually used in the production code, but in our proof of concept or just prototyping or explanation here in our, uh, because we are running our driver node in our local machine, not on the cluster. So that's why I think we can use parallelizing, but ideally in the production world, we always use to load the, the big data or the uh, create this RDD from a huge set of files. So for example, we have to reference a data set in an external storage system, such as shared file system, HDFS, HBase, or any other data source. It can be MongoDB, it can be SQL or anything, which contains like a very, very big file. So that can be used to actually create the RDD. So for, for our simple example, we will start with just creating from a, from a small collection, maybe in an array list. So I'll go here and uh, I'll create, first of all, uh, a, a list object. Uh, of only containing five elements. So let's do it. I will uh, prefer to use a stream dot iterate and I will start with one and then I will uh, use a lambda expression here and plus one. So it will start with one and keep on incrementing each, but I will only take five and uh, then I will collect it using collectors.list collectors.list okay so here we i'm correct i'm creating from one to five one two three four five using this stream dot iterate and then i will store it into a variable so i will just create ss data that we have and uh, again i will create a final var here okay so this is our list of integers as we can see containing only five elements so let's first of all create an RDD now. So RDD can be created using this spark context. So I can call this parallelized method as we just discussed, and I will pass this list. Again, I will control Alt V, and then this is my first RDD in this tutorial series, which is a Java RDD of integers. Again, I prefer to use it a final where. So this is a Java RDD integer created from an array list of five integers. Now let's print the number of elements in RDD. We expect it to be five because we are limiting it to five. So for that, uh, let me create a system dot out in which I am going to pass total elements in RDD, it should be, um, let me create this first. Okay. And the way we call it is that my RDD, this has got a count method inside it. If I just do here, count is here. So count is a terminal or an action, which we, we can perform, which will give me that how many number of elements are there in my RDD. So let's, before we proceed further, let's run this and see whether our program is looking good or not. So I'm running this program now, which is, we will just print the number of elements in my RDD by using this count method, which is an action. It's running now. Okay. It will, it will uh, print a uh, lot of uh, information like this, uh, because we are using SLF. 4J, uh, which is uh, internal uh, the loggers, which is used inside Spark. We can ignore these warnings right now because it's more uh, about GTK 11 because uh, there are some uh, like Spark uns uh, unsafe 2.1.3, which is trying to access uh, GTK 11. And in GTK 11, we always have this uh, like illegal illegal access warned uh, for any third party uh, library to access uh, unsafe platform. So we can ignore it up now because just a warning. And this is the actual output. We can see that total elements in RDD is five. This is what we expect. Let me also like uh, before uh, 
before we do uh, this my rdd let's also like print out that what was actually in our list so that we are sure that this is a list of having five elements so for example i could just use data dot for each and then i will uh, just print out system s out c so i just print out this and again run this program so that we are clear that this is what our element is and click on run button so again it's running it takes some uh, normally it takes some time to uh, for spark to initialize the context and run it because we are running everything in local so it will create a that rdd with the you know, with the partitions of four let's check all this let's see the output here first okay so we got one two three four five as we expect by this uh, stream dot iterate where the way we created our uh, list and then we created this rdd with parallelized method uh, which having a count of five now let's add some more methods